All right, guys, today I am reviewing uh, Alita, uh, Battle Angel. Here's the uh, poster that the, uh, my local cinema was giving away with a ticket. Um, an awesome film. If you'd like to see any more film reviews or book reviews, head over to my channel. There are plenty there. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys, it's Mikey's Mind here, back again with another film review this week. Um, I saw Alita this morning in 3D, Alita Battle Angel, and it's absolutely fantastic. Directed by James Cameron and uh, the digital uh, the digital work is done by Weta Digital and I'm a massive fan of Weta, massive fan of James Cameron and was so so impressed with this film, really really enjoyed it and well worth seeing in 3D as well, it was quite immersive. Um, the um, I think this film hasn't had the build up, the campaign that it deserves, I think the film is better than its campaign genuinely, um, I think I don't think everybody will see this. I don't think enough people will see it. I think it absolutely deserves to be seen. Um, the hero, Alita, she is absolutely phenomenal. The motion capture, the, the animation, the expression that they get into her face is quite breathtaking at times. She is lovable. She's powerful. She's mean. She's badass. And it's like all of this rolled in together into this sort of teenage ninja body. And, and But she's just phenomenal. Storytelling is at the heart of it. And I think the pacing of the film is fantastic. I think Cameron gets pace right. I think... You're never overwhelmed, you're never lost, you're never sort of digging around for clues or, or, or um, it's quite an ambitious film. You've got, uh, you, you're creating an entire world. I mean, the city that it takes place in, it's like a combination of um, Istanbul and London and Paris and Tokyo, Beijing. It, it feels like if you threw all of those cities into a blender and added nuts and bolts and gears and engines and, and blitzed it together, that's what you come up with. This sort of futuristic mechanised engine city that is just fantastic really and, and it's an excellent landscape it's an excellent uh playground for the characters to, to to move about in it felt very video gamey it felt very anime and and i'm not a massive i'm not a massive anime fan i couldn't tell you much about the the origins of, of alita um probably worth looking into now i've seen the film but just just brilliant really enjoyable action romance adventure a bit of sci-fi um the battle sequences there's a there's a, a, a i don't want to call it a sport but there's a uh, I don't know what you'd call it, an event. It's called mo it's called motorball, and um, it's like if you crossed handball with uh, F1 and Robot Wars, kind of all thrown in together. Um, it's crazy, but it makes for some really high octane sequences. Disappointing. I thought when I think of Cameron films, I think of a really strong score, a really strong soundtrack, and I don't think Alita had or has as good a score as you might find in some of his other films. Um, when I came out of Avatar, for example. Um, you know, those themes, you can hear them in your head once you've left the theatre and, and I couldn't necessarily, you know, recall uh, a strong theme, a strong soundtrack, a song uh, a song that, from the film or, or a bit of music, just couldn't do it. I, I, I don't know if that's because it was so subtle and subconscious -y. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But I'm always quite, I'm always quite in tune with the, the sound and, and the sound design and the score and the music. I'm always... It, it works in tandem for me in a massive way. I think it's a strong, it can be as evocative of, as, as what you see on screen and, and it just wasn't for me, but it doesn't take anything away from the film. Really, really enjoyed it. As I say, she is the hero of the film. There's no question. She is, Alita is, is amazing. Um, she's, she's really captivating um, as, a, as a character, as a CGI creation. Um, but the, 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 the storytelling, as I say, the script, as I understand it, Cameron had a very, very, very long script, about three or four hours, I've heard, and it's been cut down. And, and I think what's been left is perfect. I think you're, you're like I say, you're guided through this new world. Um, you are like Alita, dumped into this, this landscape, dumped into this planet, and you're having to fend for yourself. She's trying to rediscover memories. She's trying to establish where she's come from. Um, she is found on a scrap heap. She is, or part of her, her core, as they call it, is found on a scrap heap, and she's reanimated. She is given new legs and new arms, and, and uh, it transpires that she is one of the most powerful um, warriors that, that, that the planet has. They're trying to get to this this city in the sky, um, run by this uh, Nova character, and uh, it's there's so many big themes at work, but they're quite they're quite subtle. There's moments where I was sort of reminded of like Wizard of Oz, you know, Dorothy trying to get home. There's a little dog running around, and it reminded me of Toto. And the bar is called Kansas, and uh, yeah, there's little things like that. There's it's a little bit um, it's a little bit sort of like a, a, a modern day Pinocchio as well, in in, in the sense that you're creating uh, a child, and and yeah, just little things like that, just really. So far in the background, it, you know, so, so far in the background, but um, there, you know, there's these fairy tale elements that, that sort of popped into my mind. But well worth a watch. Um, I This isn't an organised review. This isn't a detailed plot summary, synopsis, themes. I just, I can't do that. But 
initial reaction, really, really, really enjoyed it. And I think you must go and see it. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I will see you soon. Take care.